Abby. Rush, 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 rush. Always looking for a wicket. Oh, I gotta take a run here. I gotta take a run. And it's interesting. The ball went. The ball went back to to Rashid Khan, and he sort of just tossed it to Ashmatullah Shahid. He wasn't. I suppose that's where the old spirit of cricket comes into it again. There's an apology, I think, that's being made, and they're not going to take the run. Well, that's nice to see. Absolutely. I think that spirit of cricket. Of no ball, which was very possibly on because that looked to be above waist height as well. But that is so well put away. Just check it here. Now, I'm sorry, but that should be called no ball as well. It's clearly above waist height. Shadab knows that. Shadab definitely knows that, but he's kept his eye on the ball. He smacked it hard, high, and clean over the boundary. And there we were thinking that maybe the odd four might make a difference. Well, a four and a six makes an enormous difference. Right, and this is what I was talking about. Yeah, he, they, they didn't call it no ball. She could have asked for it. It is quite uh, an irony because you see, it certainly looks to be in the borderline. But look at that for a six, 85 meters. Now we happen to be in the situation that we were some time back. Shadab Khan is asking the question. Well, Shadab is entirely entitled to ask that question. He knows the value of, first of all, hitting the ball for six, but secondly, having another ball and more pressure on the bowler and another chance to hit four, six or whatever. And it was that back of the hand delivery again the Rahman tried, he landed it early in the over, he failed to land it there, so six balls left, 11 runs needed. Oh, Faruqi. Oh, Faruqi. Well, this will get tongues wagging all over the world. Do you want to do it this way? That is the question everyone will ask. Certainly not the first time, certainly won't be the last. Shadab would have been ever so keen to get on strike now it's a question of where the the laws have changed it's a question of how far into the action Faruqi had gone had he gone over the perpendicular then this could be overturned if Shadab is proven to be on his way too early then whether you like it or not the laws of the game say that is out but they've got to check now to just check the exact point that Faruqi had got to in his action now, at that stage, he's got, he hasn't got anywhere near completing it. But yeah, Shadab is not you. watching the yes, bowler. The... But it's clear it's to me here. that Faruqi yeah, had this in mind all speaking. the way. Yes, it might be game awareness that Shadab needs the strike. He's going to be looking for the single. And at no stage does Faruqi try to complete the action. Yeah, you spoke about tongue wagging. That's within the laws, and he's out. One has to accept that. Well, it is, but uh, a lot of people will talk about how fair it was because the way we have seen for the last two matches, it's been really a display of fair game. Everyone, everyone coming around one another. But then again, as you say, this is rule, and uh, it's got better of him. Everything is fair. You know what? Want me to complete that? Do you know what? Before that delivery. Everyone, almost everyone of the Afghan team had met in the area at the end of the bowler's run-up. And I'm pretty sure, and it's pretty obvious given what we've just seen, that part of the discussion was this, that Shadab needed the strike. If Pakistan are going to win this game, Shadab Khan, who turns his eyes away just too early, yes, he was always going to want the one, Shadab Khan, who turns his eyes away just too early yes he was always going to want the one to get the strike if the ball had gone through to the keeper he'd have run for the one to get the strike if the ball had gone anywhere he'd have gone to get the strike so they knew that now that's been hit well that's been hit very very firmly so pakistan with just this one wicket left with naseem and ralph it's naseem on strike he has hit that beautifully they're still in the game
almost at the absolute final moment. Pakistan somehow, with just that one wicket left, another day to be able to get this monkey off their back someday. If you don't know dejection, just look at the reactions and faces of Afghans. How close they were. How close they were. Agonizingly. Well, for the record, this is the first time that Pakistan numbers 10 and 11 have found a way to get Pakistan across the winning post. Ahead in the game, ahead now in the series, two games to nil with just the one game in Colombo remaining the captain for where the batsman should get a bat on ball but that open face the bat the outside edge races away to third for the winning boundary and i feel so sorry for afghanistan at this stage you feel for their cricketers who've done so much over the last decade they've striven to compete with the best in the world pakistan currently rated number one in the odi rankings they have maintained that by winning at that absolutely last gasp moment. Well, I'll give credit to Afghanistan for bringing it down to maintain that by winning at that absolutely last gasp moment. Well, I'll give credit to Afghanistan for bringing it down to the last over, giving such a strong fight after getting out for only 59 in the first ODI, putting a total of 300. They should be proud of it. But then again, Naseem Shah seals the fate of this game. Everyone looks happy. Pakistan for the first time chased down a total of 300. With only one wicket remaining.